Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it is finally time to talk about probably one of the most uh, important cargo aircraft of the upcoming decade. And that, of course, is the Airbus Beluga XL. Now, yes, we have talked the Airbus Beluga before, and I think the XL as well, and that was last year. Ever since that video, there's a lot that has changed. Because, yes, finally, in 2020, in January, to be exact, on the 9th of January, Airbus has introduced this plane to serve. Service. So yes, it's uh, finally flying now. Now, what this plane essentially is, it's basically an A330, which we also have a proper model off here for the flight simulator. I guess we could load that one in as well for a second. Ah, uh, yes, this is the A330-200, I think. And just imagine this plane, but on steroids. And there you go, you have the Airbus Beluga, or Beluga XL. The XL is uh, even on more steroids than the normal Beluga. Yeah. <laughs> now, the normal Beluga, compared to the XL, has been a Thing for quite a while. It was like introduced in the 1990s. The problem about the normal Beluga was that it was not able to, you know, cope with the production growth of Airbus because I guess these planes were a little bit too small. They were really just bigger versions of the A330. The XL is uh, quite a little bit bigger than that. Now, what are these planes actually used for is probably a good question here. Yeah, they're basically made to transport airplane parts from one place to another. It makes sense. For example, you would just put, you know, some A320 wings in here, and they can fit inside of this plane without any issues. All right, now this is the cockpit. This is obviously not a very detailed flight model of the Airbus Beluga XL, but it's enough for the demonstration, I guess. As you can see, this is a very typical A330 or, in general, Airbus cockpit. Uh, looks really just like that, and it works perfectly fine. Let's just go ahead and take off. We are back at the airport that we visited yesterday. This is Jernesey Airport that only has a 1400 meter long runway. Not even 737s are really allowed to operate here. So this is going to be an interesting takeoff. But the Beluga is actually quite tough, which it kind of is. That was actually a pretty nice takeoff. There we go. I mean, we got to say we have almost no weight loaded onto this plane. Let's maybe do some changing around here. Uh, let's maybe go for, yeah, 90 tons of total payload. 90 tons, that's uh, more than an Airbus A321 weighs, for example. Just imagine we have a pretty big airliner on board of this plane right now. And as you can see right here, it's, it's flying without any issues. Now, that is obviously thanks to its very powerful engines. Yeah, for this one, they are actually using the Rolls-Royce Trent 700 engines. Now, these two at least seem to be able to push this plane forward just fine. And why has the gear come down? That's weird. All right, this was uh, perfectly enough. Let's actually go ahead and do a landing as well. You know, there's always something special about landing a very large plane. All right. Now, this is obviously an Airbus plane, so it's probably going to scream retard at me on landing, which basically means that I have to go throttle idle. It doesn't mean that I'm a retard, necessarily, I guess. Uh, let's just go ahead and land, though. Oh, landing gear. All right, we might actually do a belly-up landing, then. Doesn't matter. All right, but maybe this was not the smartest idea. All right, we're dead. And we have, I mean, we've stopped now. So this was fine. All right, this was just to test the belly landing capabilities of this plane, I guess. Pretty stupid. Yes, the, actually, the shape here is very interesting as well. As you can see, this really does look like a beluga, which is probably why it's named after it. It makes sense. But they've also gone for a very interesting livery here with this mouth and the cockpit windows and all that stuff. This is actually pretty damn cool. Even though this plane, it doesn't really look like it's very flyable, does it? But it actually does fly, which is good. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Now, you may wonder, well, how do airplane parts actually get loaded here inside of the Airbus Beluga XL? You know, it, like in the 747, there's this flap that comes up beneath the cockpit. It kind of looks like the 747 is always laughing when loaded. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> but no, obviously that's not going to work here in the Beluga because the cockpit is uh, on the ground pretty much. So that doesn't work. So no, this plane is uh, loaded in a different way. Now, sadly, this model cannot demonstrate the real thing, how it actually opens, but I can show you, like, pictures, I guess. <laughs> the actual Airbus Beluga XL in real life opens like this, which is a very interesting way of opening. I've never seen that one before. So the actual cargo door is, like, above the cockpit, which works really well. And as you can see right here, I think this is an A350 wing that is being loaded into the aircraft. That is pretty damn interesting. By the way, we have some nice size comparisons, too, to 
actual people here on the ground. Yeah, this is quite a large plane, but all right. By the way, something that we do have here in the model is how the pilots actually enter the plane. As you can see right here, we have this little door and this little like stairs that come down and we can just step into the cockpit. That's pretty cool. But yeah, other than that, this plane is pretty mediocrely detailed, right? Something that I'm actually trying to figure out right now is how long of a runway this plane actually needs for safe operation. It's probably not that extremely much. This plane is not, you know, overly large. This is uh, an ATR, which is a regional turboprop airliner compared to it. But actually, it can be quite a lot lighter than some other planes like the A380 fully loaded because obviously humans weigh a lot more than cargo on the regular occasion, especially if you have Americans on board. <laughs> so you know what? Let's actually do some, you know, testing for our own. All right. Now let's start off a little simple, I guess, with a runway that is, oh, 900 meters long. Okay, this can be already close, but let's just see if we can do it. I mean, at least that one is paved. Now, welcome back. We visited this place quite a while ago in March, and I kind of missed this airport, so this is a perfect opportunity. Oh, wow, this auto land button there is very tempting to use, but no, we're gonna land on our own. Here we go. We're looking good on this landing, actually. Let's put out the gear in time, though. Right now, we are still loaded with uh, the weight of a full A321 or even bigger, so this can be a very interesting simulation. Oh, well, it was quite a nice landing, wasn't it? Let's uh, try stopping nicely as well. Oh, goodness, it's not gonna happen, is it? All right, going around. We need a longer runway than 900 meters. Yeah, okay, maybe I was a little bit optimistic on that one. <laughs> Honestly, though, this plane felt quite nice to land, especially with landing gear this time around. Yeah, let's maybe go to a whole other place, maybe La Mole, which is a place that I'll fly to, like, next week in real life, I think. I don't know. All right, we'll come back on board. Now we are in the south of France. Now, so far, they have built around five of these aircraft and they are planning to build like one more. They want six of these in total. I mean, you know, compared to something like the Antonov An-225, there's only one of those, which is pretty unfortunate. You know, it's pretty rare to see that plane. Pretty sad. But on the other hand, with the Airbus Beluga, you might have a little bit of a better chance at doing that. All right, 1200 meter long runway. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on. All the brakes are at maximum. And oh, oh, there we go. This is actually very interesting because uh, La Mole is actually an airport that many bigger planes can land at, even though it has quite a short runway. It's pretty interesting. So that's cool. By the way, have we talked about the very interesting tail wing uh, shapes? What the hell is this? But yeah. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. What do you guys think about the Airbus Beluga? It's obviously pretty cool and it's pretty important as well. So yeah, and it's pretty cool that they've also built the XL now and actually started using it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.